everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Today I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of The Dwarves with three awesome dwarf characters. If you'd like to see how to set up the game, feel free to check the video before, otherwise we're going to jump right in. Just remember, this is the saga rules from the expansion, not the base game rules. So there are some things that are different and that's why you're seeing these diamonds out here. So if you're just looking for the regular one, this is not it. <laughs> you might go, why are those there? <laughs> Alright, let's get going. You can't find a much more straightforward game than dwar the dwarves. We're going to have three different items that you'll do each turn and then rinse and repeat for each character. First, move the hero token. Second, draw new cards. Third, carry out two actions. That's right, you only get two actions around. We will move the hero token one space forward. Now, do you see this? This means that we're going to have a spawning and this tells us where we're going to spawn. We're going to spawn by gate five. Because we move the hero token onto spawning onto a spawning area, we're gonna have to roll these three dice. Each one is going to spawn a different set of enemies. Elves, trolls, orcs. We're looking for all blanks. And if you've watched any of my other playthroughs, you know I keep dropping dice, so I just had to go pick it up. All right, ready, let's go. That's not terrible, but not great. We've got four enemies. So two elves, which take a six plus to hit, one troll, which takes a five plus to hit, and one orc, which takes a four plus to hit. Let's spawn them. Here's portal number five. We've got our one troll, our one orc, and our two elves. Gross. Now here's the thing. If ever we get five enemies in that one spot, this is going to outbreak, kind of like um, Pandemic, but we'll place a perished token for perished land, and then they will move across the board. That's how the enemies start getting all the way around the board. Now we would draw new cards if we had any Saga cards that we had completed, but we haven't. So next, we'll carry out our two actions. Tongue Dill is going to be first, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to do his Telegram ability first which is he's gonna take one action and drop one scenario token in his current spot so that he can have this that quest one fourth complete. Here's their current location. We'll set one right here. Next, we're gonna do the Dwarven Council action. We'll use three dice for our craft ability and we're looking for fives and sixes. And don't forget Tungdil's ability since he, when sending a message to the Dwarven Council, he can add plus one to one die of his choice. That is gonna be helpful. Looking for all fives and sixes here. Ooh, we got a five and a six. We could increase this to a six, but it doesn't really matter. So we'll take the five and the six, that's good. Since Tungdal was so awesome with his dice rolls, we get to move up the Dwarven Council token two times up to here because he rolled a five plus with this five and he rolled a six to go to here. Now, if we had rolled another six, we could have moved up to here, or another five and used this six to move up. So um, you can do more than one thing every time you roll successes. So that's really nice in this game since you only have two actions. So now we have this ability. As soon as the quest of a saga card has been completed, you may move one hero up to three spaces. Sweet. Gandogar is next. So he'll move the token up one more space and we're gonna spawn again in location five. You know what that means? We're gonna get some parish land here, very likely. Let's shoot some blanks, some blanks. Ooh, two of them blank, but three orcs. Ooh, that's not good at all. With those three orcs, we're gonna have more than five here, so we have to draw a parish land tile. We'll move these off for a second. Okay, so now, you see this white arrow? We have to match the white arrow that's here, so we'll go like this. Then we'll put any of the elves in this spot. And then technically the orcs should go over here. But the problem is there's no space here. So they all, the orc and the troll, will go in this spot. And you know what that means. One, two, three, four, five. We have another perished land. What we're getting this time. Oh, okay. So it's a brown arrow. So we're going to face it this way. The green orcs should go this way, but they can't, so they'll all four move to here. And then the troll will move onto the tunnel. Now these tunnels are awesome because we can jump between tunnels for one movement. So we don't want that to become parish land because if it does, 
Gone is that tunnel. Let's move on to Gandogar's turn. First thing, since Gandogar and Tungil are in the same spot, he can take the telegram from Tungil, and that's not an action, which is great, because he's going to start running over towards the next gate. So the first action that Gandogar is going to do is a movement action. So we get to roll two dice, and whichever one is higher, we'll get to use for our movement. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a four or a four. Hmm, I think we're going to use four. With four movement... One, two, three. We're going to move here and stop. We have to stop moving whenever you go into a space that has enemies. Except for ne um, Narmora, she gets to actually, she can move through them, but not our dwarves. So now for our second action, we're going to attack. Gandogar will roll three dice, but don't forget he can actually fight uh, enemy troops from adjacent spaces. So there's that troll next to him. If he rolls a five plus, he could use it on the troll if he wants. Three fives, right here, that's what I want, three fives. Oh, that is not bad, a five, four, and a six. Those are all successes on one type of enemy. With those three successes, I still think we're gonna remove all three of the orcs. The reason that I'm doing that is because you see this tile right here, all new troops that are coming out of gate five are gonna come into this spot. So we really wanna clear this out. And what's the worst thing to do is to get five of one type of enemy because then they break through parish land all the way until they get to the black saddle where you cannot have parish land, but that means you're gonna parish land through an entire section of the board. So you don't wanna do that. That's why I went right for the orcs. Now it's Narmora's turn. So we'll move from here to this spot. Now normally, that would mean that we would take two threat cards and shuffle them in with the adventure cards. But in the Saga area, uh, or the Saga expansion, we're going to draw two threat cards and choose one to put into play immediately. Our first option is the thirdlings occupy the black saddle. The effect is after each recruitment dice roll, roll the recruitment dice one more time for the black saddle. And remember, I was just telling you about this. The black saddle can never outbreak. So what will happen is after there's five or more troops there, you remove them all and you move the doom tracker up one. Our quest is as an action, you may move the doom token up up to five spaces towards the hero token. Then roll a number of dice equal to the number of spaces moved. The threat is averted if you roll at least one five. And you may spend one health point to re-roll. <laughs> or we've got Storming of the Vaults. Effect. After each recruitment dice roll, roll the black die one more time and place the result plus one additional troll on Lotlonen's Lot Vaults. Quest. The threat is averted when there are two dwarves at Lotlonen's Vaults and one of these players succeeds at a two craft test plus uh, two crafts test four plus on the same turn. Oh, those are both bad. I'm going. I'm going with the black saddle. And I think Narmora is just going to go and take care of this right now. We don't want to deal with this. So she is going to move the Doom Tracker up five spaces to roll five dice. We should be able to get a five with five dice. Here's our Doom Tracker. Whoa! <laughs> it actually looks kind of cool. I'm, I'm not going to lie. That one looks awesome. We're going to move him five spaces up. One, two, three, four, five. None of these effects happen, but it's just now he's closer to our hero token. And if those two ever meet, we lose the game. Let's roll our five dice. Just looking for a five. Looking for a five. Oh, yes. We have a five. Crisis averted. We can now take this card and discard it. We're done with this threat. Next, we're going to have Normora try and move. So she gets to roll two dice to see how much she can move. We're looking for not snake eyes. <laughs> okay, four. And four. Wow, we're really good at rolling fours. We know, because of where the hero tracker is, that next time we're going to spawn in location one. So we're going to have her preempt that and go two here, so her next turn she might be able to fight them, if need be. That'll end her turn. We're going to move back to Tungdo. First things first, let's move that hero token one more up, and now we're going to spawn in location one. What are we going to have over here in, in the Veyburn area? Oh, look at that. Just a troll. Not bad. We very well may have just wasted Narmora's turn coming over here, but that's okay. We'll at least put one here. Tungdil is going to try and complete that quest by doing more Dwarven Council rolls. So he can roll three dice for his craft, and we're looking for sixes. And don't forget his ability, being able to increase one die. 
Come on, a five or a six, or just two sixes would be great. Oh, okay, so we got a two, five, or four. So we can increase this die by one. That's not increasing it, there we go, to a six, and we have completed the first part of the Dwarven Council. We're gonna be able to increase this by one. If we had rolled another six, we could have completed that quest. But now, anytime we roll the number dice, you may re-roll one of them. So we have even more chances. We're gonna do it again. Three dice, a six, or a five. Oh, we got a one, three, and a four. So we can re-roll one of them. Let's re-roll this one. Come on. And it's a two. Fail. Bummer. That'll end Tungdil's turn. Let's march this hero token right on. So we're going to spawn again in section five. We got rid of three out of the four of those orcs over there. So hopefully with only one enemy there, we won't spawn more than, uh, what, three? <laughs> oh, we got exactly three. No orcs, but one elf and two trolls. So here's gateway five. We're going to follow the arrows and we're going to put the two trolls and one elf in this spot one more enemy here and that would become perished land what is gandogar gonna do gandogar is going to do drown your sour sorrows so he's gonna roll dice equal to his health which is four if he gets one six we have completed this if not we're gonna have to move the doom token up one Four dice, getting a six plus, we get to re-roll one because of where the Dwarven Council is. Eh, we can do that. Four dice, looking for a six. Oh yeah, look at that, two sixes. So we have completed this quest. Because we completed it, we get to draw two equipment cards and decide together which players can keep them. Ooh, Ancestor's Anvil. You may discard this Ancestor's Anvil while performing the craft test. If you do, you may reroll all of the dice once. Ah, uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be the tongue dill. And then Dwarven Song, you may discard the Dwarven Song as, um, as a player is performing a speed test or is moving. If you do, you may then turn one die to a five. Yeah, that's going to go to Narmora. So here we go. Gandogar got the items, and he's just giving them away. What a classy guy. For Gandogar's second action, we're going to fight. Let's roll three dice and see who we can take out. What are we going to get? Okay, we've got a four and a five, and we can re-roll this one because of where the Dwarven Council is. And we rolled a two. Failed. All right, well, at least we can use these two. The four can only get rid of this orc over here. Yeah, this teeny tiny orc. And the five can get rid of one of the trolls. There we go. Let's move on to Narmora. Let's move up the hero token. And now we're going to move to this spot. So this is a new spot you haven't seen before. This means we decrease the Dwarven Council by one. Yeah, I was really trying to decide if I wanted to have Gandogar just try rolling for completing that other quest. But I decided with only two dice, it just wasn't, it's too risky. We'll move this back down to here, which is a bummer because I really like this ability. That's probably my favorite ability, being able to reroll dice. Just helps with all the randomness of this game. We finally get to draw a new card. So this still has an A on it, which means that we can draw it and reveal it. But if this had a B on it, since we have A uh, Saga cards out, it would just go here face down. And we'd have to wait until these A's were done before we flip it, but we can flip it now. Rescue the sun. Travel to, and this is not the sun sun, this is a person sun. Travel to a space with a lake that is not perished land and succeed at two speed tests, four plus, on the same turn. Then immediately choose one player to gain two health points or two players to gain one health point each. Alternatively, you can draw one equipment card and decide who gets to keep it. Oh, so that's really cool. That's a, that's a new one I haven't seen. So there's certain areas where there's uh, lakes, so we'll just have to find one and we'll do that quest. That shouldn't be too hard. We're gonna try and bang that quest out right now. So we're just gonna move her to this lake. Now normally we'd have to roll dice, but let's be honest, I'm gonna roll a one. <laughs> Right? At least a one. So we're just going to move here, and then we'll do the second one, which is a speed test. Let's see if we can do it. Normora's speed is only two, but remember, we have this dwarven song in our back pocket if we need. I'd like to order two four pluses here <laughs> with a side of sixes. Okay, we got one. One four plus, so we're going to use the dwarven song. I was hoping not to. So we'll use this to turn one of these dice 
to a five, and we have succeeded at our second quest. Our benefit is we can heal people, but here's the thing, we're all full health right now, so instead, I think we're gonna draw one equipment card and decide who's gonna get it. Oh sweet, the hidden dagger. You may discard this hidden dagger when fighting evil troops. If you do, you may reroll all the dice once. The new roll counts. Oh, who does that go to? Does that go to Gandogar or Narmora? Oh, that's hard. Both of them are good fighters. I think I gotta go with Narmora. She she just has a, an awesome ability to be able to... Uh, essentially has an exploding six, which counts as two successes. So let's do the hidden dagger for Narmora. I'm not gonna forget this time. As soon as the quest of a saga card has been completed, you may move one hero up to three spaces. And I've got the perfect hero to move. So this is Gandar, Gandogar. He's gonna move one, two, so he moves here. Now he went through two parish lands, so he either has to move the Doom Tracker up two spaces, or take two wounds, or a combination of the both. And I think he's gonna take one wound and move the Doom Tracker up one. Here's our one point of health, and now we'll move that Doom Tracker one space forward. Remember, that doesn't affect anything other than it's getting closer to our hero token. Now on to Tungdil's turn. So we'll move to this spot and we'll spawn in the fourth location. That's right where he's at. Looking for blanks, shooting blanks, shooting blanks. Oh my gosh, shooting blanks. I have never rolled that. That is awesome. I love being Irish. We have to draw a new saga card and this saga card is an A, so we'll flip it over. New source of magic. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Place three orcs, three trolls, and two Elfs, or uh, Elfar, on this card. Travel to a space adjacent to Parisa to defeat these troops and complete this quest. Oh my gosh, that's just an insane amount. So, what, three trolls and three orcs. You know, I'm thinking uh, Narmora now has a new spot that she's going to be going. Because she can really take out troops. Boy... That is a new source of magic. What's our, our uh, benefit when we do it? Either collect one diamond as per normal rules, but without performing a test, or look through the equipment card pile and choose one equipment card from it. Decide together which one to keep. Ooh, getting a diamond would be cool. I'd like to show you that, so that would be cool. Since Trungdil, the Irish dwarf, that's what I'm going to call him now, <laughs> Did not spawn anything, he is going to do the Dwarven Council for sure. Trying to get all the way up here and completing that quest. We need two sixes and he rolls three dice. But don't forget, he has that anvil, so he can always discard that to reroll all of his dice. Sixes or one five might be okay because he can increase it by one since this is a craft test. Let's see. Oh, we got one six. So we're able to move up the Dwarven Council one space. And no fives. If one of these had been a five, we could have changed it to a six, but I can increase it by one. Uh, still not there. So only one success. Let's move it here. But the nice thing is now we can re-roll our number dice, one of them. So we're going to do this again. I want to get a six. Come on, Tongdil, the Irish dwarf. Let's do this. What do we get? A one, one, and a two. <laughs> okay, we can re-roll one of them. So, looking for a five or a six. And I rolled it off the board, so let me try it with this one. That's a four! Ugh! You know what, this is a good time as any to use our ancestor's anvil. I can now discard uh, this card to re-perform the craft test. So I can re-roll all of my dice. Come on! Fives or sixes? There it is, a six, yes. Completed that quest. Let's move it up. Now we can, as an action, perform a craft test for, on a success, draw one equipment card and decide together who gets to keep that card. Meh, that's okay. I actually like this one so much better, but we needed to get here. We have completed that quest. The kings have gathered, and because of that, we get to draw an equipment card, and we get to place this next to the board. Collecting diamonds now does not require a test. So we haven't done any collecting yet. What we would normally have to do is succeed at one craft four plus test to be able to pick up a diamond. What we're trying to do is find the true diamond before the evil, uh, the evil troops do. But we don't have to for this game. It just will make the B and C cards easier. Uh, now, now though, we don't have to take a test 
to uh, obtain the diamonds, we can just pick them up, but it does still take an action. And we got another hidden dagger. Well, you better believe that's going to Gandogar. So Gandogar is going to get that one. Speaking of Gandogar, it is his turn, and we're going to spawn in the fifth location. Gandogar has to roll just like Tungdil, right? Because they're buddies. Ooh, that still is not bad. One elf and one orc. One elf and one orc is perfect. We'll place four here, but not a fifth. Yes, that's what we wanted to see. We'll draw a new saga card, but here's the thing. It's B, so we're going to leave it face down. That means these two are really important that we complete, and gosh darn it, that uh, telegram is not easy. Speaking of the telegram, we're going to do that as our first action. We're going to place one of these scenario tokens at gateway 5. We'll put that right here, so that means we're halfway done with that quest. We still have to get to 1 and 2, which is insane. For our second action, we're going to try and move. We get to roll two dice for our movement, so let's see what we get. If we could roll a six right here, I would be really appreciative. <laughs> yes! Oh man, okay. Gondogar is going to be German, which means he is very much determined. He may not be as lucky, but he's determined to get himself to where he needs to be. Let's move him six spaces. Let's move him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. We're going to be able to drop off that telegram. Now Amara is going to move over to here, and we have our second threat cards coming out. We've got here either, either losing keen fire, effect you may not use your equipment, and you cannot receive any. Don't forget that telegram is not equipment. And our quest is to collect evil troops defeated in battle on this card. When there are 10 plus troops on this, it has been uh, taken care of. Ooh, that might not be terrible. We also have founding the new orc empire. After each recruitment die roll, roll the green die one more time and place the rolled orcs on this card. When there are 10 plus orcs on it, place them on the gateways one by one in clockwise order, beginning with the gateway to the first link kingdom. Discard this card afterwards. Oh, so bad later or bad now? Hmm. Generally, I go bad later, but you know what? We're gonna do, we only have two pieces of equipment right now anyways, so let's do losing keen fire. We can't use our equipment. Remember that quest card, the new source of magic, where we have to defeat eight enemies? Yeah, we have to get adjacent to um, Portista, so we're gonna have Narmora try and run and get herself over there. That's different than what I was thinking before, but I think that's the best idea. Of course, I'm showing you this card to tell you that she rolls two dice. Sorry. A four would do it. That's what we need is a four. Oh, we got a five. I don't even care what that other die is where it fell off. We have a five. Here's Porista. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. We have to be adjacent to Porista to do this. So we're adjacent. Now we're going to fight those enemies. We get to roll four dice for her. And don't forget her special ability. If she rolls a six, she gets an additional success and can take out any enemy. And when I say any enemy, I meant enemy, any enemy in that location. And these uh, enemies are considered to be at that location. So we want to at least roll a six here, but just a bunch of sixes would be great. Oh, okay, we got a, a six and a five. So that means we're going to be able to take out three troops because of that six. That's two successes and then a five. Well, we can take out the two elves and we'll place that on that threat card and then one troll. But we still have one, two, three, four, five enemies. Man. Tungdil is going to move to this spot with the hero token. We're going to spawn in location one. Blinks again? What do you guys think? Come on. Blinks again. We can do that. <laughs> yeah. Blinks on one, but four more enemies come out. That's going to perish some land. We're going to take this troll off, and we're perishing the Queen Zemetis II's land. Oh, I feel bad about that. Okay, and we're going to put this this way. All right, so then the orcs will go over here by this tunnel. Ugh. And then the two trolls will be here. Tundle's aim is going to be to go get this diamond. So we're going to roll the moving dice to try and get over here. Just because his is a little different, he rolls three instead of two dice. Let's see what he gets. Two, two, and a 
four. Okay, good. The four will help us. We'll move two spaces, or three spaces over here. Now, we can immediately pick that up because we don't have to do a test. So we can look at it. Oh, I shouldn't say immediately. We have to spend an action, but we'll spend the action to pick this up, and we don't have to worry about um, passing a test to be able to pick it up. So we found this diamond, but we don't know if it's the true diamond. To determine if it's the true diamond, we have to roll two dice. We then compare the value of the two dice, and if it's equal to or less than the a total amount of diamonds that we have, we have found the true diamond. I'm not going to roll because I cannot with two dice get lower or equal to one. It is Gandogar's turn, and we're going to move and spawn in location five. We already have four enemies here, so this is very likely going to perish some land. Unless we roll all blanks. Yeah. Ouch. That is not good at all. With three orcs and two more trolls in this spot, this is definitely going to become Parish Land. So we'll grab a new tile. White. It's going to go this way. The green are going to go over here. And this is really bad because this is going to break our... Is, oh, <laughs> well, that troll fell over. But this is going to um, become Parish Land as well because that's five uh, characters on there. Evil troops. So this one will immediately outbreak, and we have more perished land, and we lose that tunnel. Oh, this will go like this. The black troll will go here, and the four orcs will come over here. Oh, oh my gosh. Not looking good. Although what's happening over there by Gateway 5 is bad, there's nothing that um, Gandogar can do much about it. So instead, he's going to take one movement, I'm not going to roll dice because he can at least roll a 1, to step here. Now he's either going to take a wound or move up the Doom Tracker, and I think we're going to move up the Doom Tracker. The Doom Tracker is getting one step closer to coming around the edge. We're doing this because we want to drop off another scenario token for that telegram. We only have to get to the Gateway number 2, and then we're finally done with that one. Narmora's turn. We're gonna move over here to the fourth, or to this spot where we're gonna spawn in the fourth location. Here's our three spawning dice. Ooh, one of each type. That's actually not bad at all. This is our first actual spawn over here since Trundle rolled that uh, total blank when we were supposed to put stuff over here. So, not bad. We all know what Narmora's gonna be doing, attacking these five to try and complete this quest. She gets to roll four dice. Looking for fives and fours. Or a six. One six for sure. Ah, We only have one success. That's going to just take out one troll. That's it. Okay, we're going to roll all four again. Come on. If all four of these are successes, we take them all out. And they're not. But, oh, that is so unlucky because we have two sixes. One of these becomes another six, essentially. So we can take out three enemies. We'll take out the other troll and two more orcs. But that means we have one lowly orc left. And for our losing uh, keen fire, let's see, how many more do we have to defeat? We have to defeat three more enemies to get rid of that so we can use our equipment again. Now we're back to Tungdil, who's totally covered in trolls. And we're going to uh, take our hero token and move one more. And we now have to decrease the Dwarven Council by one, which actually is not a bad thing. We now get to go back over to here where anytime we roll the number dice, we can re-roll one of them. I love that one. Tungdo may not be the best fighter with only rolling three dice. Hey, that fits for Irish. <laughs> but do you see how there's four trolls here? If we get one more troll, that's gonna really perish some land. So we are gonna fight. And we get to re-roll one at least because of the um, where the Dwarven Council is. So we'll roll our three dice looking for lots of fives. Come on, yes, fives and sixes. Ooh, we got one. So we'll take out one of these trolls. I think we're going to have to do that again. Fives and sixes, fives and sixes. Oh, two sixes. That takes out two more trolls. So now there's only one troll left in that spot. Not bad. Look at that. Ten enemies on the losing keen fire. We have completed that quest. We can now use our equipment again. Gandogar is going to move the hero token here, and we're spawning in location 5. We have one troll there. We have Tung Trungdil there. 
So let's not spawn anything else, huh? Oh yeah, just one elf? We'll do that, we'll deal with that. Following those arrows, here we are. Gandogar's gonna run. He rolls two dice, looking for a six. Oh, a five. We can re-roll one die, so let's re-roll this three to see if we get a six. Oh, we do! Yes. Since I've been doing close-up shots, you haven't really even seen where this final uh, gate is because nothing's come out of here yet. But one, two, three, four, five, six. We're still not going to be able to get over there. If we didn't have something in this tunnel, we could use the tunnel system. But he's going to have to stop here if he tries to walk through there. So unfortunately, it's going to take him two turns. But we're going to do it. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, for our second action, obtain this crystal. Oh, it's a two. Nice. I called it a crystal. Pretend I called it a diamond, because that's what it is. Now we can actually roll the two dice, and there is a chance we could roll a three or less. Let's see if we can do it. Now would be the greatest time to roll a one or a two. I'm actually rooting for it. A four and a two, too much. So still, that was not the correct or real diamond. It's now Narmora's turn. She's gonna move here, and we get a threat card coming out. Uh-oh, both of these are not good. Threat by the Troll Empire. This is very similar to the Orc one where we just roll the troll dice. And after we get 8 plus on this card, we have to put them out on the gateways one by one in clockwise order. Beginning with gateway to the Firstling Kingdom. And discard this card afterwards. Or we have the wrong one becomes king. You may not send messages to the Dwarven Council. Our quest is to travel to, gateway, travel to the gateway to the Fifthling Kingdom, number 5. Succeed at 3 craft tests 4 plus. They're on the same turn to avert this threat. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. I think I'm going to do the wrong one becomes king. Because Trungdil or Tungdil is close to this. And he is great with his craft. So I think I'm going to do this one. We know what Narmoro is doing. Trying to take out that last piddly orc. Because in that new source of magic. Rolling four dice. Looking for a four plus. Yeah. Took him out. Completed that quest. See ya. Now, we can either collect one diamond as per the normal rules, but without performing a test, or look through the equipment pile and choose one equipment card. I'm totally doing a diamond, and you'll see why. Which diamond to take? I think I'm going to take this one. We're going to get another two. Two, four, five. Nice. Now, we can't perform that test. That's what that card was saying. We can't see if this is the true diamond or not but now our number is higher and for our second action we're gonna grab this one and it's a it's a three sweet we'll place that three here now we just have to roll less than three four five six seven eight there's a chance right less than an eight right here four plus two is six that is less than an eight we have found the true diamond what that means is when we see the B and C cards, we're going to get a positive effect because of that. I'm also going to take get rid of the rest of the diamonds on the board because they don't mean anything. We're going back to Tungdil. He's going to spawn in location four. What are we going to see? Just two trolls. That's still going to make it a parish land, but not terrible. We'll grab these guys off. Flip this up. Okay, so all the trolls. One here plus the two that we rolled three here, then we'll have one orc here and one elf here. Tungdo wants to get rid of that threat ASAP. He wants to be able to affect the Dwarven Council. So to do that, he's going to have to be able to move one, two, three, four, five, six, because he can't move into here, that'll stop his movement. And if we move through here, we're just going to be pushing up our demise. So we're going to do a speed test, trying to get to here, trying to roll a six, but we get to roll three dice, and we get to re-roll one of them. Of course, before that, I should lay my second B card face down. So both Bs will go into effect once we finally take care of this. Looking for a six. And we got a three, three, and a four. Oh, so re-roll one. And we get a one. Okay, we're going to do something that may not be great, but we're going to try it anyways. We're going to use this four. Since we're already on to essentially the B uh uh, saga cards we're gonna go one two three and we're gonna move the doom tracker up twice and take one hit point um, by going through those perished lands Tundil's health goes down to two 
And that doom tracker, one step away from the edge of the board. We're now gonna try and do the uh, four plus succeed with a craft. We have to get three successes of a four plus and he rolls three dice. Can we do it? He rolls three dice, he only needs a four plus and he can re-roll one of these. Oh, he just absolutely can't. A six, two, and a one, we can re-roll this one. And we get another six, this was a six, but that's only two successes. You have to do it all in one turn, so that's the end of Tungdil's turn. Gandogar's turn is gonna be very quick. He's gonna move here, that's gonna decrease the Dwarven Council by one. We're gonna go down right here. Bummer. All that Gandogar can do is move one, and I'm not rolling dice because I'm gonna at least get a one, and finally finish this quest. Whew, look at this. We get to move the council token up two spaces. One, two. Heck yeah, and draw an equipment card, which we can then decide what to do with. Oh, that is awesome. We can use this beer stein to increase our health by two because, you know, beer is going to help. Heck yeah. Let's give that to um, Narmora because she might be starting to take some wounds. Narmora is going to spawn in location one. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's not good at all. One elf, one um, troll, and two orcs. So here's location one. They're going to spawn here. So let's see what we get. Oh, gross. Okay, so then we're going to put the two trolls here, plus the additional one that we just spawned, the two orcs over here, and one elf right here. We then are going to draw this C card, but we're going to leave it face down. This is going to be our win condition. But first, we have to flip over these two B cards and read what they say. Defeat the hybrids. Place four orcs, four uh, elves on this card. Travel to Paris to enroll one die to determine the space on which uh, you place one scenario token. Travel to that token to battle the troops. Once all are defeated, this quest is completed and the token is removed. So four or orcs and four elves. Holy moly. But we have found the... Um, the true diamond. So we get plus one to each die when finding the evil troops on this card. Oh, so a three plus and a five plus instead of a four plus and a six plus. We also have Rescue Lot Ionin. If you are on a space without troops, you may perform one craft test four plus. If you succeed, place one scenario token on that space. The quest is completed when there is an uninterrupted line of scenario tokens from and including Parista to La Iona's vaults. And this craft test already succeeds on a three plus. That's our benefit. Oh yeah, but man, that's gonna be fun. So we're gonna have to do that test here, 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 and here. These four locations. What we're gonna do because of what we just drew, we're gonna have uh, Narmora take one action to move to Parista. This way she'll roll a die and determine where to defeat those hybrids. Once again, I should technically roll a die, but I'm going to at least get a 1. So, not going to do that. Let's roll to determine where the hybrids are going to be. We roll a 1. This means it's going to be at Rod Acre. Rod Acre is way over here, so we're going to place that there. We're going to actually see if Narmora, for her second action, can get there. She rolls 2 dice. Oh yeah, she gets a 6. Looks like we found out what she's going to be doing. Moved four, and she'll be taking care of those guys next round. Let's move on to Tungdil. First things first, more spawning. Location five. Looking for blanks. Oh, that's definitely not blank. This is at least, but four are coming out. Three, which are orcs. Following the arrows, we go to here, and that's going to make this uh, become perished lands. And white is going to turn this way. So the three orcs that we just drew or spawned are going to be here. The two elves would normally go here, but they get put here. And our troll is going to be here. Tongdil is in the spot. He is going to get rid of that threat card. Three successes on a four plus. We can do that. Let's see what he gets. Okay, there's one success. We have to do three successes. So second one, we need two of these to be successes. And all of them are fails. So his Irishness is not paying off. That doesn't make me happy. I have seriously been neglecting troops and this could become a bad thing. 
We're gonna spawn in location one. It wouldn't actually be a bad thing if we could all just roll blanks. Like that, that is a great roll. One elf. We'll follow the line and here we go. Place our second elf in this location. We're gonna neglect them just a little bit more. We're gonna try and get to Parista and start working on that rescue to Lot Ionin. Rolling two dice on our speed test. All I'm looking for is a five or a six. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is. I rolled a two or a one. Oh, that's nasty. We're gonna move him a whopping two spaces to here. Let's roll again on speed. Oh, wow. Well, at least we're doing our bad rolling now. At least we got a four. We'll go one, two, three, four, and start here. The reason being is because I'm hoping that I can get Tungdil over here to do these two while we have um, Gondogar work on these three. Now Mora is gonna spawn in location four. Blanks would be wonderful right here. That is absolutely not blanks. That is three, four, five, that's six enemies. Oh my goodness. We're gonna be perishing this land for sure. We'll grab this. This will go here. So all of the elves, which will two, will go over here. The one troll will go here and the three orcs will go into this location. Oh, this is not good. And yet, I seem to not care. <laughs> I am pushing on for these quests. I'm gonna do this, roll, I'm gonna roll twice. Four plus, I mean four dice, and I get a plus one on all my dice. Let's see what we can do. Here is our four dice. Okay, two sixes, we can get rid of three enemies. We're getting rid of three elves. Let's do it again. This is of course where I defeat the hybrids. Okay, so we only have one success there. Actually, no, these are all plus ones. This can get rid of three orcs and this can get rid of one elf. That can get rid of four enemies. She's gotten rid of all of these. That means she only has this guy left to complete that quest. Wow, she's good. Tungdil is gonna have to draw two threats and choose one of them. We have treason in Mifjordania. Effect, after each recruitment dice roll, roll the black and green die one more time and place the results in Mifjordania. Move, uh, our quest is move evil troops defeated in the Wavern Kingdom onto this card. The threat is averted when there are five plus troops on this card. Whew, let me think about that one. Or we can do threat by the avatars. Roll the recruitment dice once and place the result plus one additional elf on this card. For each new per perished land tile, move the doom token one space towards the hero token. We'd have to travel to Parista to defeat the troops on this card. When there are no more troops on this card, the threat is averted. I think we're going to do this one. We're going to have to roll the recruitment dice. Two trolls. That's not bad at all. We'll place the two trolls here. Now what we have to do is decide what Tungdil is going to do on his turn. I know this is going to catch up to me, but I'm still going to do it. Tungdil is going to try and get to Parista to either fight or to start laying one of those scenario tokens for rescue of La Ionan. He gets to roll three dice uh, for his skill test. And by skill, I mean speed. I need a five here. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, we got a four, a four, and a three. Let's move four. Change of plan since we couldn't roll five. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and go into here and fight these orcs. So we're gonna fight with three dice against these orcs. We need a four plus. And we take one of them out. That helps a little bit, but not enough. We're probably gonna have this become Paris land too, which is a bummer. Gundogar is gonna have to spawn in section five, looking like we might get some more Paris lands. Let's see if we can get some old, good old German blanks. Ow, that is two of each type. That is definitely not blank. This is where it gets to be fun, you guys. So we'll take these off. Oh wait, wrong spot. Sorry, we'll take over here. Take these off. We'll put this like so. And the two orcs will go over here. And then we have everything else coming over here. Which is gonna mean we have four trolls. Oh my gosh. Look at this area. This is insane. And then two more else. So obviously that's going to become perished lands. Let's move those off. We grabbed one of these, so we'll go like this. 
The orcs would go this way, but then that means they're going to be set here. The trolls will all be placed right here. And then the four elves will go here, and then that's going to become parish land. Oh my goodness! We're having some bad chain reactions here, you guys. So this is going to go here. That's going to put all four elves over here. So they're going to be outside of the chain reaction. But the orcs are going to be put over here. So this is going to become parish lands. So then we've got this here, which is terrible. This is going to point this way. So the orcs would go here, but they follow the arrow and they go here. Same with the trolls. So that's six. So this is going to um, become parish lands. Here we go, we're gonna place this. Now we're gonna go into the black saddle. But first, we'll put our three trolls here and our three orcs here. So actually, we don't have the uh, any to go into the black saddle, which is a good thing. But man, look at that. We totally just destroyed an entire section of land. Oh, that was terrible. Let's see what we're gonna do as uh, Gandogar. We're gonna fight, I think. Let's fight these trolls because this is not fun. So we're gonna roll four, no, no, we're only rolling three. Three dice on fights, looking for five pluses. Come on, five plus. Oh, we got one success. So we're gonna be able to take out one troll. I think we're just gonna do it again. We're gonna, so we got one troll down, let's see, five plus. Oh yes, that will take care of all three trolls. It took both actions. I don't know if it was really worth it or not, but we did clear that space so that's good because next time we can start trying to get through that rescue of lot Ionin and start putting down some scenario tokens but they have to be empty so that's why we had to do that i can't believe i'm going to say this but we're getting a reprieve here with narmora we're just going to have to move the dwarven council down one which actually we're not too sad about we'll move down one but now anytime we roll the number dice we can re-roll one of them heck yeah you know the drill rolling four dice Trying to get an actually a three plus, that's all we need. Oh yeah, we took that orc out. We can say Sayonara hybrid orc, and we have completed this saga card. Now, there isn't any benefit with this one, which is a bummer, but at least we're taking care of it. Namora is over here, and I think we're gonna try and do a speed test to get ourselves over here because one is gonna be spawning very soon. And if we can get ourselves over here, we can maybe fight back the hordes. I think that's what she's gonna focus on while the other two try and get those craft skill tests complete. Her speed is a wonderful two, but remember, we can re-roll one. We got a four and a three, so we might as well re-roll this three. <laughs> okay, I guess it's a four we're gonna take. We're just not doing a great job rolling right now. I think I ran out of my luck. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, but we're not even where these, uh, where the next spawn's gonna be, but that's okay. Maybe if they, um, because of these, the brown and black arrow, they might come over to here if this becomes a parish land. So I think this is still an okay spot. Tungil is gonna have to spawn in location one. Let's see what we get. We want some blanks. Okay, well he did pretty well. Two blanks, just two trolls. That actually isn't bad at all. That's gonna make it so this does not uh, become parish lands. Heck yeah. So we have four, not five. Tongue Drill is gonna try and get over here to Parista because we have four night elves here, or just elves, not night elves. So we're gonna try and roll a four to come into here and fight them once because we need to clean this out in order to do our um, rescue Lot Ionin uh, final saga card before we go to the last saga card. We just need to do this last part, but it's, it's not gonna be easy. We get three dice for this check. Let's see. Oh, a six. That'll work. We'll take four steps of the six. One, two, three. Actually, three steps. One, two, three. And now we're gonna fight. Is it too much to ask for for three sixes? Maybe it is, but let's see if we can do it. And we got none. So we're gonna re-roll one of them. And if we don't get this as a six, it might be a bad thing. Oh, so we get to see this. This is the first time. If you fight troops and you don't defeat any of them, you take a wound. Tungdil now will only have one health left. If he goes down to zero, or anyone goes down to zero for that matter, we lose the game. Gandogar is gonna take one step over here with the hero token, and we're gonna have to spawn in section five. 
And I have to say, you guys, this is looking grim. You know, I felt so good when we found the, the true diamond. But man, these uh, quests or, or sagas or saga quests are just killing us. What to spawn? What to spawn? How about nothing? Or two orcs and an uh, elf. That's not terrible. Here's lo location five, you guys. We got to follow the arrows all the way down to the black saddle. Now, this does not become, and it can never become a parish land. If ever we get five or more in here, they're all removed, and we have to move up the Doom Tracker. But we don't have to do that yet. I think at this point, we're just trying to get these scenarios done. So we're going to try and do the scenario here and hope that um, Tungdil can maybe do something next round and take out these elves. So let's roll for, I think it's a craft test. Yep, it's a craft test. It's a plus four or higher, but because we do have the true diamond, it's only a plus three or higher. So we've got a good chance. We'll roll two dice. Three plus, three plus. Oh, now if only we could do two of them at one time. Two sixes? Ah, uh, uh, man, or maybe those elves. That would've been great for those elves. We'll place our first scenario token. We still have to get one here, 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 and here. So for our next move, we'll just take a step here so we can do this one next time. But if you can see, it's gonna take so many turns. I don't know. And we're gonna have to clear these out because you have to do it in a spot that has no enemies. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have been cheating. Do you remember this threat? I completely forgot about it. This is the problem. I had to stop mid recording and go and do some stuff and then came back. I totally forgot about this threat. And then we had, I think six perished lands so we have to move the doom tracker up six spaces yeah six this is really not looking good one two three four five six oh my goodness gracious <laughs> now i might have that number wrong but i also think that tongue may have been able to defeat one of the trolls i think he rolled a five or maybe not i can't i can't remember so we're just gonna go with that that's close enough now, uh, for Narmora, we're going to move this hero token one more over, and we have to spawn another threat. First, we have Dwarves Leave Girdle Guard. Effect, you may no longer use the tunnels. Quest, travel to the gateway to the second lane kingdom, then travel to the gateway to the fifth lane kingdom and discard one equipment card there to avert this threat. Discarding does not consume an action. action. Oh, we're going to do this. We have not been even using the tunnels, I think. Because this looks terrible. Whenever you would move the console token by one space due to the Doom Track, move it two spaces. And then uh, the, the threat is averted when the console token is either at the rightmost space or the leftmost space. And right now we can't even affect it because of the other threat that I chose. <laughs> so we're going to lose the ability of the tunnels, which is terrible, but it's the lesser of the two evils. I also forgot that Narmora has this Beer Stein. She's going to discard this to allow any one player regain two health. So we're gonna do that for Tungdil so that he goes back up to full health. Let's put him back up to three. Whew. We're gonna take a very huge risk here, but we have to at this point. We're gonna have her come over here and help Tungdil take these guys out because literally we are running out of time. Here's the problem, we're gonna spawn here next time. If we spawn anything, that's another parish land. That means the Doom Tracker's gonna move up again and potentially even more. So, but we got to take some risks here. Two dice, here we go. Yeah, five and a four, don't even need to reroll those. We'll move her over. All right, so now she's gonna fight. That's four dice for her. Don't forget, she's in Parista. So the nice thing is she can also fight those uh, two trolls that are on the threat by the avatars. So let's see what she rolls and then we'll decide what to do. Wow, thank goodness we have the hidden dra dagger. You may discard this hidden dagger when fighting evil troops. If you do, you may reroll all the dice once. The new roll counts. Oh, one, two, one, two. Let's try that again. I'm feeling sixes. What are you guys feeling? Well, that is literally one success. Jeez, with four dice, that's just terrible. With that one six, remember, she can take an additional troop off when she does that. She's going to take both of these trolls off so at least we get rid of this threat so now we won't move up the doom tracker every time we get parish lands wait 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 wait! i forgot that we also have uh the dwarven council we can re-roll one of these so let's re-roll this too come on be a six or a three <laughs> ah 
Didn't even help. You know it's bad when I can get both tokens in one picture. <laughs> so we are gonna have Tongue Dill spawn at location one. Well, the only way we're gonna not have Terrace lands is if we roll three blanks. Oh, that was pretty close though. Just two more enemies, uh, one troll and one elf. One troll and one elf here is gonna make this uh, become a perished land. And we're going to put this one, here we go, sorry. I'll put this one right here. And our trolls will go over here. So we'll place two plus one is three. One, two, three, four, and that's gonna be a problem. And then our three elves here. So we have another perished, perished land right here. That one, we're going to place this one like so. The green orcs are going to come here, make that perished land, and the black trolls are going to go here. So let's see what we get for this perished land. Sorry about being on a camera there. Moved it up. All right, let's see, put that there, and we're gonna have the elves go here. Oh, finally, and the orcs go here. <laughs> oh man, so just think, we would have moved up the Doom Tracker three more spaces had we not gotten rid of that threat, so I think that was worth it. Now that Narmora is here, we're gonna take Tundral and take his first action to step here on the Parish Land. He'll take a wound, and I'm not gonna roll dice, because once again, it's a single movement. But this way we can do that craft test and try and complete that because um, we can have Narmora do the fighting because I don't think he's going to get a six and if he takes a wound uselessly, that's not helpful. Three dice on a craft test. Oh yeah, six or four, both of those will work. They're above the three plus that we need. We'll place a scenario token right here. We only have one, two, three more spots we need scenario tokens. Gandogar is going to have to move the hero token here, and we're going to push down the Dwarven Council yet again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, at the max, six more turns, and we haven't even found the Sea Saga card. I just don't think it's going to happen, but let's try it. Man, we're going to lose our reroll ability. Ugh. We go to, as soon as a quest or a, of a saga has been completed, you may move one hero up to three spaces. Meh, that's okay. We're gonna do a scenario test, so that craft three plus test, and then we'll move to La Leona vaults. This is a little bit risky. We're rolling two dice and we get no rerolls. Oh, yes, we got a four. Whew. Let's place that scenario token and we'll move one more over. Only two more spots and we've completed our rescue to La Leona. Well, what do you know? We're gonna get another reprieve. Do you see this? We're doing our first spawn in the location two. We have no enemies there. Yes. As long as we don't roll five enemies, I am good. Oh, yeah. Two. One orc and one elf. Can I just say that even if they were evil, I don't know if orcs and elves would get along this well. I think the elves would probably do that. So why don't we just place the elf? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, but it does seem kind of weird to me. I think we all know what Narmora is going to be doing. Fighting four elves with four dice. Four dice. No rerolls. Let's go, six hits. Oh my gosh. One, 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 three. So we can't reroll anything, we take a wound. Narmora takes her first wound. Oh, that's painful. Can Narmora get her revenge? Let's see, come on, sixes? No sixes. Five, five, three, four. No sixes, she takes another wound. I can just feel my luck seeping out with every wound. Oh, man. And now we spawn in location four, which actually is one of the better spots. We're gonna do it, you guys. Blanks here, nothing, nothing. Oh, two? One orc and one troll, not a problem. One orc and one troll right here. Not a problem at all. You just keep growing over there. Tungdil has two choices. He could come over here and help Nermora and probably get hurt. Or he can try and come over here where, where Gun, Gundogar is and complete this so then on Gun, Gundogar's turn, he can run over to Normora and help her. I think that's what we're going to do, but that means we've got to roll a lot of good um, movement for both of them. But it's just, uh, they, uh, if only they were switched. Oh, wow, and I just totally knocked him over. Sorry about that. 
But yeah, if only they were switched. Tundo gets to roll three dice. He gets a five. <laughs> well, I think I need to change the dice that I'm rolling with. You know what? I'm going to do that. We'll move them. One, two, three. Now let's do that craft test. I've got three glorious new dice here, so we should have no problem. Uh, three plus. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ugh, that looks gross on that die. But four, three, we're good. Second to last scenario, token placed. Let's move on to Gundogar's turn. This is looking really grim. We're going to spawn in location five, and if you remember, location five is going right into the black saddle, and we already have three troops there. If we spawn more than two, or more than one, actually, more than one, we're going to have the Doom Tracker move up, and it's, this is going to be our last turn. Looking for only one to spawn. <laughs> Can we do it? Oh, we have two! If only! Oh, man. Adding two more troops would make this a perished land, but we can't make the Black Saddle perished. So instead, we move up the Doom Track. This will mean this is the last turn of the game. Let's go out with a bang. On two dice, we need movement of one, two, three, four. And we'll take a wound, but eh, who cares? Two dice, we need four plus. And we get a two. <laughs> I think we're done. Two, we can move a whopping two spaces. And there isn't anything else we can do, so I think we're going to end it here. That is The Dwarves. Thank you guys so much for watching. Whew, it's kind of a long playthrough, uh, but it is fun. It's, it's, uh, I would say it's definitely light. It is a lot of dice rolling, so you got to be okay with that. And I think what I did wrong in this playthrough is I did not get two things. One, I did not get enough equipment. When I had the Dwarven Council at the end of the track for positive, I should have been getting equipment like crazy. I think that's what would have helped us. A lot of equipment can get you more dice, and more dice means more successes. More successes means not this. <laughs> I think I lasted this long purely because of my good dice rolling for the spawning. I mean, I, I was really lucky on spawning. But it is what it is. Um, but I would, I would consider this a fantasy, you know, and Rado says it well, a fantasy version of um, Pandemic. It's it's a little bit more, I don't know, intricate's the right word? I don't know. But there's so much more luck into in this than Pandemic, so I definitely like Pandemic better. This is fun, but Pandemic I really enjoy. Um, if you like questing and adventure games, this is a great game. I, I wish you could have more than two actions, because sometimes that feels very limiting. Uh, but overall, I still really enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good rest of your day.